Good Morning by uh, by Julio from Udine. This is my jungle. As you can see, it's not really properly tamed, but I'm not properly tamed myself. I'm just going to talk about this, this incredible rose called Mrs. Oakley Fisher, which was the only one, the only one of the only roses which survived the savagery of. Mr. Christy Lloyd in Great Dexter because he had a really, as a gay man, he had a lot, I'm gay myself, so I'm not homophobe. Well, all gays are homo homophobic, so who cares? Uh, as a gay man, he had a really big problem with his mother. And his mother had a really, really big collection of old roses. And as soon as he got power, it just tore them off, tore them up and just planted his dahlias. How disgusting. Well, I love Great Dexter. I would just do everything in my power to volunteer them. Uh, I'm sorry for my hysterical uh, way of filming, but I'm clumsy by nature. So he told me this kind of, all this plant, except, except Mrs. Oakley Fisher and the one I did yesterday, um, Marie Pavie. They actually, they're not noise, Marie Pavie, but they got like gigantic plants of like two meters. I did this yesterday, so I will not do it that today. And this rose was raised by, by Counts of Colchester. I'm sorry for my English pronunciation, which is totally awful. It was raised in 1921, in, and it was very fashionable then to do this kind of hybrid teas with single flowers. Now we're used to them like, look like cabbages. And this plant is very nice. And it's really continuous flowers, and it's like a mixture of amber, uh, buff, and and it's really, really scented, and opposite to uh, compared with um, with hybrid tea, it's almost like a china rose. It means like flowers all really all the time, and here is mixed with Solanum aviculare. Actually, no, I think it's Lanciniatum, but the two of them are mixed, so this one is Lanciniatum. And it's an incredible shrub. It's... And it's quite hardy. You can find it in London. And this is a mixture with my maple. Sorry for my American accent, maple. Uh, yeah, it's... It continues flowers. It flowers continuously as well. So it's a perfect companion for such a such a beautiful rose. And what else? Well, a bit a bit of acanthus. Another rose there. So this is my spath, which is by made by someone with Asperger and Spraxa. So it's it's a bit messy, but yeah. And um, what else? The good shrub. Uh, I think I disturb you more than I should have done. So thank you very much and really buy this rose. Actually, I think you had the Garden of Merit and of a Rose National Society and by the RHS it got uh, something. So this rose is loved even by by people who are not Rosarian and who really hate roses and who hate the mothers. So this really rose is a survivor. So you should have it. Don't miss your opportunity. This rose is great. Love it. Have a great day. I think I will try to make a picture of me. Yeah. Clumsy garden with dyspraxia and Ferger. Bye bye.